Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I wanted to go over three different ways you can decorate the vertical layout. Uh, they kind of like have levels, <laughs> the ones that I picked. I feel like there's like a beginner one or like an easy one, a medium one, and then like like a harder, more expert level per se. Not really that you have to be an expert to, to do this, but um, I have different ways to lay out very functional, very functional spread. Um, with adding decor because I know sometimes some people like they question like all of the spreads that I make like how I put my plans in there that's why I do try to show some of my after the pen video so you can see how much how much space I have for plans um, but I wanted to go over yeah so you can decorate you can put a lot of stickers on the page and still make it very functional I feel like I've shown that on my channel even like with my mini spreads I'm always surprised how much space I have on there for plans. Uh, but I'm going to go through different styles of layouts. I have three, again, because I have like a progression of like design when it comes to like the sticker placements. They're all very functional in my opinion, um, but they advance in like decoration. So I have three examples that I am going to go over. Three different ways that you can lay out your stickers and make a very decorative functional spread. All right, so here's the first one. Now, for me, when I first started planning, I kind of gravitated more towards this style of um, laying out stickers. So for me, my, and this right here hasn't changed very much. Uh, I, I love using the sidebar as a very functional, like, to-do list for the week for things that don't necessarily have a day that I need to get them done, just things that I want to check off for the week. Um, these are going to be more day-specific to do. And... When I first started planning, I used to put like a lot of checklists on the page because I feel like they're very functional. They're they're really nice to have and I love checking them off. Um, so what I used to do was just put a checklist on every single day. Now you could put them like all on the same level, but sometimes it's nice to have like a little break and um, have them up on the top. And then on the bottom, you could just do decoration on the bottom. You could put florals on the bottom. I did some little houses on the bottom. Um, I love these longer types of quotes because they really don't take up a lot of room, uh, but they still leave, you know, a good chunk right here that I can write in plans. So for each day, I made sure to put a checklist. Of course, I have the little decorative spot right here. And then I put like a little header for like the important thing that I need to get done for that day. So these would be like maybe like the daily things that you need to do, but maybe they're not like super important it's okay if you do them the next day. And then this one, I would put like the most important thing to get done for the day. So that way, you know, like, okay, I got to focus on this one right here and then try to check these off. Um, but yeah, this is a great layout, a great way to put your stickers down for a very functional spread. It's super easy to put together. You got checklists and a header, you got some quotes, and then you still have really pretty cute decor on the page. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, play, play around with your stickers. Try using the bottom for decor. You can even do the middle part for decor. You can put, you can kind of scatter this around, but basically using this type of technique where you have your checklist, your um, headers, and then your decor and some quotes. So that would be like beginner level is what, <laughs> that's, the, that's the beginner level type spread. Okay, a little bit more advanced from this would be when you start playing around with like layering stickers. So I love layering stickers. Um, in this one, I try to keep everything more in the box because I know some people like going over into other boxes is probably a little bit too much. So I try to keep these like in the box. That's how I first started out when I started layering. Um, I kept everything like straight in here and then I would just layer one going onto the um, next day. So this is pretty simple to see, like this box obviously is gonna be for Monday. This one is going, going more into Tuesday. So um, that would be a Tuesday box. There's a Wednesday box, a Friday box, and then a Sunday box. And of course, I put tons of checklists on every single day, but I try to scatter them around the page. And then the other thing, like when I'm doing uh, clusters, like little layered sections like this, I try to make sure I put one on each horizontal level. So here I put one on the bottom section, did a little cluster right here. This one I put on the top. I wouldn't put one like here in the middle because I don't want it to be too close to this one. So I put it up here on the top. 
The next one I put, made sure to put a middle one right here. So that way I have like a nice little like V going on right here um, or triangle going on right here for the clusters. And then on here, I could have put one. I feel like this one I could, I could choose. I could choose either top or bottom. I chose to do the top because I felt like it might've been a little squished down here and I felt like it needed something over here on this side. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Just making some little clusters in each of these vertical sections. Um, it's pretty simple. Put your, all your checklists. There's tons of room. It's, it looks really cute the way it's decor, the way it's decorated. Um, and that would be like my layering 101 type of advice is to, you know, just put your boxes in one, in one day and then just layer one going into the next. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into more of like the advanced one. The one that I love doing, um, which is just boxes everywhere, just things everywhere all over the page. So on this one, um, I, I'm i incorporating decorative like little scenes, like I like to say, with clusters around the page. Again, I try to do like one on each level. These are going more like the full length, but I'm trying to keep everything like very functional. I have like all this huge cluster right here. I have three boxes I can write in. I'm gonna, you, you can use that for writing in as well. That's why I like that decorative sticker because it's actually functional as well. Um, so yeah, I would use this one for Monday, this one I would use for Tuesday, and then this box obviously for Wednesday. And then down here, I try to do like a little mini scene, layered some boxes. This one I would use for Tuesday. This one I could do like either Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and then this one for Wednesday. And then again, I, I went to the middle over here since I had top and bottom. I go to the middle over here, do a little cluster. Um, I have a Thursday box, the Friday box, and then another Friday box. And then I actually did on this one, I did cluster on the top, a small one on the top, and then I did another one on the bottom. Whereas like this one, I just did like the top over here over here i was able to fit two on this section i just love like all the little things to look at around the page all the little clusters so on here i have the sunday box and then here this is like a little weekend plan so i would use this for saturday um or just the weekend in general um but yeah there's a little box to use and of course i like adding bullet points for me i kind of I, I like adding checklists, but I, I think I like adding bullet points more now. And then I don't really need checklists to write in. I'll just write in all this white space around this spread and then just check things off next to it. So I really don't use checklists as much as I used to. I still like using them, but I don't like put them on every single day. But I mean, this works perfectly well, you know. This, this, is a, this is still a very functional way to use your stickers, having all those checklists. For me, I just I like the way the, the bullet points look on the page instead. Um, so those are my three different levels of <laughs> vertical planning, vertical decorative planning. I'm going to go over them again. Okay, so that's the easy one. This is the more medium one, the layering of the boxes. And then this is more of the harder, well, not really hard, but yeah, the fancier the fancier one, the fancy layering. And on here, I do um, like try to layer up all my boxes like outside of of the line. So I, I tend to not really go within the lines anymore like these. I always try to like offset it a little bit. They're all kind of offset. But whatever day this is more in, that's where I usually use it. But I also like to have the option too, like this one's kind of half and half. Um, I like to have the option if I need more on Wednesday, I can just use that box for Wednesday instead of having it for Tuesday. Yeah, so that is how I decorate now. But this has been my progression from um, how I decorate. Uh, it's fun to see like in the past the spreads I've done and how they looked more like this and then they started getting more like this and now they're like this. So hopefully I was able to give you some tips and tricks on how to decorate this vertical layout. This is my favorite layout to decorate. I'll try to do more. I'm gonna, I wanna do the other ones I decorate, which are the mini dashboard, the regular dashboard. I think I'm gonna do the horizontal, even though I don't use that, but I still decorate it. Um, so that way I can give you guys some ideas on those too. But yeah, that is gonna be my video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you on the next one.